The jungle is a place full of surprises, so it's important to be prepared for anything when you visit. You might encounter a prehistoric giant snake that was once thought to be extinct, a mysterious primate, or even a whale. In this video, you'll see some of the strangest animals and creatures that have been discovered in the jungle. Let's take a look. Mysterious Creature The following case is quite mysterious and the evidence consists of some scary pictures. The photographs depict either a primate or a human being. Supposedly, the pictures were taken in the 1930s, but they were kept hidden until recently. Nowadays, a lot of people enjoy exploring old documents, and one of them stumbled upon this case. He started investigating it and baffled the scientists. Some people argue that the photos are fake, but nobody has ever claimed this before. Others, on the contrary, are convinced that these images show a new primate species, which was crossbred with humans, but due to a number of mistakes, it was decided to eliminate all these animals. It's a creepy idea, so what do you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments. A whale among the tress. And what is definitely not a staging or a fake is the following story and pictures from it, which show a huge whale stranded in the Amazon jungle. Biologists discovered the 36-foot carcass of the dead animal, which was as much as 50 feet away from its natural habitat. How could a humpback whale have gotten so far? It doesn't look like he was thrown out by the waves at all. Nevertheless, there's no other plausible explanation. A high tide is the scientist's only answer. It seems to me that if there had been a high tide on the shore, the locals would have known about it. In addition, besides the whale, there would be fish and other creatures around, but I don't see any. A new primate species. The image you are currently viewing was sent to us from New Zealand. Two members of an ancient tribe were captured on camera, including a researcher and a primate from a previously unknown species. It appears remarkably unusual and fascinating from the outside, but it also raises several queries. Why hadn't these primates been detected before? Why hadn't a research team gone there to observe the new species behavior? What is this tribe and how is it connected to apes? Ultimately, the picture makes one wonder if it's genuine or fake. Please write your opinion in the comments section. Mandrill. Since I'm talking about primates, I should also tell you about 100% real rare monkeys, which it's better for no one to encounter with. They're very beautiful, colorful, big, but why would you not wish your worst enemy to encounter them? It's because of their temperament. Because of their aggressiveness, even leopards are afraid to attack them. To begin with, mandrills, or as they're called, mandrillus sphinx, live in the equatorial forests of West Africa. They rarely cross paths with other apes, unless it's about procreation, but this doesn't make mandrillus sphinx wise. You know when a creature's alone for a long time, it's believed that it's zen, and better assesses what is happening around it. Well, that's nonsense, at least as far as primates are concerned. A huge creature with battle coloring and fangs the size of a finger inspire fear with its mere appearance, turning potential enemies to flee. The mandrill, by the way, is one of the largest representatives of non-human primates. No one's gonna want to argue with it, especially if they see this mouth gaping to an unthinkable size. In addition to its fiery temperament, this rare jungle monster is also extremely territorial. It does not tolerate strangers on its territory. In addition, mandrills do not walk alone. Therefore, if a gang, usually consisting of 20 to 30 creatures, happens to notice an uninvited guest on their property, the intruder will have a bad time. Want to be even more surprised? Such powerful primates occasionally gather in groups of hundred individuals. No one can stop them, of course, especially if mandrilla sphinx don't like something. The only good thing about this story is that the mandrill doesn't eat meat. Despite their long fangs and quarrelsome character, the painted monkey's diets consist of 98% of vegan goodies. The jungle creature's menu is based on fruit, leaves, stems, and other vegetation. Glass frogs. Nature is a remarkable thing. On the same planet where dangerous and imposing mandrills exist, one can also find cute glass frogs. These frogs are unique due to their transparent skin, which allows one to see their internal organs, including their heart, liver, 
and digestive tract. Most glass frogs are lime green, with some species having different markings on their skin that help them blend in with their environment to avoid predators. These amphibians have developed a clever way of staying hidden from their predators by living in trees, where they can avoid coming down to the ground unless it's mating season. The first transparent glass frog was discovered at the end of the 19th century, which quickly attracted the attention of scientists. Researchers began studying their anatomy and behavior to understand the mysterious property of their transparency. Many theories were developed, with some believing that it was a tool for Mother Nature for camouflage, while others believed it was all about regulating internal temperatures. It was not until the next century that research revealed that the transparency was an adaptation that allowed these frogs to merge with their environment and hide from predators. Temperature regulation also takes place as the sun's rays penetrate the frog's skin and warm their organs. When the frogs are active, their blood flow makes them more visible, but when they sleep, most of the blood accumulates in the liver, effectively hiding them from predators. In ancient times, glass frogs didn't have webbed feet, but today they can use them to cling to vertical surfaces and climb trees. Who knows? Maybe with time, these unique creatures will develop more tricks for survival in the wild. Okapi, do you think unicorns exist? I think people with a developed imagination definitely believe in them. However, skeptics as one will answer that they're definitely not in our lives. Well, if you've been one of those skeptics so far, here's a rebuttal. This is the Okapi, not a purebred, but still an African unicorn. This is the animal with the appearance of a horse which is the only surviving relative of the giraffe. At the same time, it has the color of a zebra and a horn on its head. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the okapi also has a very long tongue, which can reach 16 inches in length. The animal licks its own eyes like a gecko. So what is it in the first place? The okapi remained unknown to people for a long time. For the first time, it was talked about only in 1890. Of course, not having the right technology, scientists couldn't make up their minds what creature was standing in front of them, either a mutated zebra or a horse subjected to crossbreeding, or even someone alien or the one who came into our world from science fiction books. Not knowing what to do, people gave these unusual creatures the name Okapi and set out to collect other data about this species. But catching any small Okapi was not easy, to put it mildly. Because of this, after a couple of years, it was decided to call them the African Unicorn. The Okapi was nicknamed Unicorn, not because of the horns that grow on its head, but because, even in those days, the animal was already very rare. Over time, the traps of people became more and more effective, and soon, London scientists took the remains of one of the Okapi for their research. It remains a mystery how many of these Unicorn walk on our planet today, but presumably the number of representatives of the species is from 5 to 35,000. Tetanoboa is that you? Tetanoboa is a legendary snake that is the largest creeping creature in history. People have found remains and traces of this creature, leading to discussions about its size and the chances of modern animals against it. Tetanoboa was so huge that it could have even swallowed a dinosaur, and modern predators would have no chance against it. However, it is not extinct just because we have not found it yet. The world's oceans are vastly unexplored, so there is a chance that Titano Bowl may have moved out of the rivers and settled somewhere deep down. It could come back to its native South America to hunt boats with people and animals in them. In a video captured by people boating down the Amazon River, a huge creature appeared in front of them, looking nothing like an anaconda or python. This abnormal creature was truly massive in size. Do you believe that Titanobo may still exist? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.